The chairman of the Balwaristan National Front, BNF, Abdul Hamid Khan, has said that the oppressed people of Gilgit Baltistan will vote in favor of joining India as they are fed up with Pakistan's colonial rule. There are only two options. Either you can vote to India or you can vote to Pakistan. And after the long 70, for 69 years experience, we the people of Gilbastan, we are living under the durance of Pakistan, under the occupation of Pakistan. And we live like in a prison of 72,000 square miles. And by keeping that in, in our mind, if we have only two options, we will not give our vote to Pakistan. We will vote for India. Criticizing Islamabad for violating the UNCIP resolution and for falsely framing political activists, religious persons and students of Gilgit, Pakistan under the controversial Anti-Terrorist Act of Schedule 4, Khan said, access to justice is denied because there is no legal, constitutional, high court or supreme court in the region. He claimed that the judicial system of Gilgit, Baltistan is under Pakistan and its armed forces firm control. Pakistan is the first country which violated UN resolutions and then it demands for UN resolution. If you are demanding UN resolution, first you, first you perform yourself, your obligation, you withdraw your forces from the area and then you can ask the United Nations uh, to tell the India to withdraw its bulk of its forces from that area. But Pakistan is violating uh, the rights of the uh, people of Pakistan. You see, we are not allowed to free speech. We are not allowed to free work in our area. Our area, if you, if you say anything, uh, you will be detained under the uh, terrorist law. You can be detained under the uh, sedition law. You can be detained under the Schedule 4. Uh, now they have imposed Schedule 4 uh, after the, the CPEC. And the people have no freedom. And the people of Gilsan have no right to access the uh, justice system. The lives, properties and freedom of the people is under serious threat due to Pakistan and China's joint conspiracy to strengthen their occupation under the garb of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC. The corridor, which starts in China's Xinjiang province, enters Pakistan via Gilgit-Baltistan. The Gilgit-Baltistan is the first victim, you can say. I don't use the word of area, it's the first victim of CPEC. Because uh, the Chinese government, they did not talk with the representative, any, any so-called representative, the GBLA or its uh, uh, governor or uh, its uh, chief minister, they didn't uh, take them into uh, account. Uh, before this CPEC uh, agreement was done, this was done during the uh, PP, uh, Pakistan People's Party government, Zardari, there, there, you know, he is Mr. 10% uh, uh, or Mr. 20%, he takes his own share. And after that, the whole Pakistan army is backing CPEC because they have got a lot of dollars. They put the dollars in their pocket, and that's why they are defending the CPEC. And nobody in Pakistan was consulted before this, PEC, uh, this CPEC and even after CPEC. And uh, that's why we are totally against this CPEC. If you are doing some development or some uh, good thing to the people of Gilistan, why do you don't talk to them? Without taking them into conf uh, to confidence, and it's, it's violation of their rights, it's violation of uh, uh, UNCIP resolution, it's even violation of Pakistani constitution, if it's a violation of all the norms of international law. People from across Pakistan and China are now settling in Gilgit, Baltistan. As in 1974, the government of Pakistan abolished state subject rule in the region. In an utterly disgraceful move to ensure its own colonial control over Gilgit, Baltistan, Pakistan has deployed its citizens in all departments, including administration, police, and judiciary. Abdul Hamid calls it a deliberate attempt by Pakistan to grab the resources of Gilgit Baltistan by making the indigenous people into minority. In the whole Jammu and Kashmir, including Ladakh and Gilbastan, uh, Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir he imposed 
state subject rule in 1927 uh, to protect the people, uh, their history and their culture and their uh, resources, their land from outsider invasion. He imposed that uh, a good law in 1927. But on the other side, the India is, I think, respecting that state subject rule. No. Uh, Indian citizen from other state, they can uh, buy any land in Jammu Kashmir and they cannot acquire any employment, permit employment there and their rights are protected. But on the other side, in Gilgit Pakistan, uh, this law is totally violated. The Pakistan is sending uh, on a daily basis its own citizen, anyone Afghans, Indian terrorist patrons, to settle in Gilgit Pakistan by violating state subject rule. And the people have no place to go to challenge this, this law. Either you can, you can pick uh, the guns someday, someday and uh, you do whatever the other people of the world they do. Otherwise, Pakistanis are not democratic loving people. They don't listen to the people why. People in Gilgit, Baltistan are living under constant fear as Pakistan and China continue to indulge in violating all international norms by exploiting their resources and land. A large number of political workers in Gilgit, Baltistan are facing death sentences in fake cases without the right to appeal in any high court and supreme court. Those who raise their voice against their forceful occupation are being crushed.